This is one of the world's most important sea passages, and it's where Washington wants its allies to join a naval mission to combat what it calls Iranian aggression. Countries from all across the world who have a vested interest in keeping those waterways open will participate. Berlin says no thanks. And, um, derzeitigen zugegebenermaßen ernsten und auch gefährlichen Situationen am Golf und in der Straße von Hormuz müssen wir alles daran setzen, eine weitere Eskalation zu verhindern. Washington disappointed by Berlin's rejection. Its ambassador in Germany furious, noting Germany is the biggest economic power in Europe. This success brings global responsibilities. Analysts say it's indicative of a larger trend, traditional allies pushing back against Washington's lead. The Europeans are not going to follow through and follow with his uh, policy on Iran. The Europeans are not going to um, help escalate tensions with Iran. And that the alliance that President Trump perhaps taken for granted is really um, at risk. Earlier, the U.S. announced it will renew sanctions waivers for Iran's nuclear program. That means Russian, Chinese and European companies can continue civilian nuclear cooperation at Iranian nuclear sites without facing U.S. penalties. This is a, a short 90-day extension. Uh, it's intended, as I say, to be under constant observation, and uh, I just keep my eye on that spot. Those countries have been spared, but this time it's Iran's foreign minister who has been slapped with sanctions, which would freeze any U.S. assets owned by Javad Zarif. It has no effect on me or my family, he tweeted, as I have no property or interests outside of Iran. Thank you for considering me such a huge threat to your agenda. It's the latest action which has the world asking whether Washington's campaign of maximum pressure is working. Jessica Washington, SBS World News.